What is the ideal distance for Spooky Tooth Scalar? Spooky Tooth Scalar is comprised of two black cases. One is called a transmitter and the other a receiver. Spooky Tooth Scalar is simple to operate. A scalar field can be produced when the transmitter is turned on and tuned. Some people are wondering how far apart the two Spooky Tooth Scalar devices should be placed. The minimum recommended distance between the two units is 6 feet. Try to keep at least 2 feet away from the transmitter and 1 foot away from the receiver. When you do a biofeedback scan, try to keep the two units close together so that the scan results are not affected by other items which may be entering the scalar field. There is theoretically no limit to the maximum distance between the two units. The further apart the two boxes, the bigger and stronger the scalar field will be. However, more items will be within the field, reducing the strength. Also, a very long link cable will lose some energy. The scalar field is not blocked by walls. You can put the two units in different rooms to get a better and stronger scalar field. For best results, always keep the two lids facing each other. Is it safe to share the scalar field? Well, your energy has already been quantum entangled with family members and friends, so you can share the scalar field with them. We do not recommend sharing the scalar field with strangers or people with serious diseases. If you don't want the scalar field to affect others, keep the two scalar units at a minimum distance. Sometimes it is impossible to avoid sharing the scalar field, but this is not necessarily a problem. You are already energetically intertwined with any person you spend time with. Anecdotal evidence describes an emphatic or sympathetic symptomatic sharing not actual transference of disease. Scalar fields are not the only means to transfer information. Simple plain sunlight or photons can also do this. Dr. Fritz Albert Popp has already established that the biophotons we emit is all that one needs to share in order to establish an underlying bond. Scalar is just another way of sharing. Sharing sunlight with other people or animals will have similar results as sharing a scalar field. We are all beings of energy and light. We share and influence each other all the time. Scalar is not something that makes the start. It's already happening. However, for those who are not already in your inner circle, you may wish to lean towards caution. For those who are already in your space, Scalar should not be something to fear. If, worse, if you start to feel like you're experiencing shared symptomatic responses with others who share the field with you, all you have to do is stop sharing and the symptoms should fade away. The same concerns are raised for speaker remote, which also works with information transfer. Many people have used speaker remote with multiple people at the same time without issue, proving the safety of sharing such a field. 